So welcome back to the post-lunch session of this conference today. Uh, next speaker is going to be Professor Venan Goa. He's going to speak about random singlet phase and disordered 2D magnets. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, for, I would like to thank organizers to invite me to be here. Uh, it's really uh, to, uh, to stand in this uh, uh, great country, <laughs> which has <laughs> very strong affection to, uh, to Chinese, uh, China. China yeah? uh, first of all, I would like to uh, acknowledge my uh, collaborators, uh, Lu Liu, was my uh, PhD student, now is working in the uh, in Institute of uh, Physics in Beijing, uh, Hui Shao. Uh, she's now working in Beijing Normal University, and uh, Yu Chen Lin, uh, she's working in National Chen Zhengzhi University in Taiwan, and uh, Anders Sandwick uh, is working in IOP and Boston University. Our uh, paper, uh, you can find our paper in this archive and to appear on Physics Review X. So here's the outline of my uh, talk. Uh, first, I will, firstly, I will give uh, a theoretical uh, motiva motivation. I will talk about uh, Willens bond uh, solid and uh, deconfined quantum critical point in the presence of uh, disorder. Uh, then I introduce models and uh, uh, schematic phase diagrams. Uh, I will provide quantum Monte Carlo evidence for the random singlet phase. Then I will discuss properties of the random singlet phase. Uh, comparison, in the end of the talk, I'll compare, compare uh, with uh, experiments. Uh, then I'll conclude. So, uh, the confined uh, quantum criticality describes the direct continuous transition uh, from near to a uh, Willens bond solid in two dimension. Uh, so this is a uh, new antiferromatic state. Here is the Willens bond solid state. In between, there's a proposed quantum, uh, deconfined quantum critical point. So this uh, mechanism uh, violates uh, Landau rule, which states that uh, first order transition uh, should be there. Uh, uh, first order transition is expected between uh, two ordered uh, phases. Uh, so, according to deconfined quantum criticality theory, uh, order parameters of the both uh, of the two ordered states are not the fundamental objects. They are composites, compounds, or <laughs> a composites of uh, fractional quasi-particles carrying a, a spin half. Uh, these these uh, quasi-particles are called the spin lines. And uh, if we look from the valence bond solid side, uh, there are topological defects, uh, which are Z4 vortex uh, forming at nexus of four, four domain walls. For example, here, four, one, two, three, four, four domain walls. Uh, those short valence bonds are forming the four uh, different domains. Uh, you can uh, give uh, angle to each domain to to uh, describe uh, these uh, uh, four domains. So at the core of the uh, vortex, 
there is an unpaired spin. Uh, this is different from the classical Z4 vortex. For example, in the uh, Q equals 4 clock model. So this is different. So uh, according to the theory, spin lengths uh, bind together in the uh, Williams bond solid state and uh, condensate in the new uh, state, deconfine at the critical point. Uh, this procedure leads to a continuous phase transition uh, in a new universality class. So it's, this universality class is neither uh, O3 nor uh, O2, something uh, new, universality class. Uh, for a clean system, actually there's no uh, static uh, domain wall. So those uh, spin uh, pairs uh, move in whole uh, space time. However, if we, uh, when a disorder introduced, uh, according, according to the Emery Marr argument, any amount of disorder uh, in the Williams bond solid state will cause domain formation, which uh, destroys Williams bond solid. Uh, 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 spin lines form. Uh, Actually, they form in pairs, or uh, for example, a uh, quarter poly. Let's so uh, as shown uh, here. Uh, here we also uh, show uh, uh, two triple uh, domain uh, domains. Okay, this is uh, uh, different uh, when uh, caused by uh, a. Uh, disorder. So now the question is, uh, what kind of uh, a magnetic state uh, forms from the interacting uh, spin lengths? Uh, in one D, it is clear uh, that uh, random singlet state uh, forms uh, here, like in this model, a uh, random spin half chain. Uh, this is well known. So each spin is paired uh, with uh, another spin that uh, may be uh, far away, maybe far away. The, using the well known uh, uh, strong disorder RG uh, method, properties of this uh, uh, phase are found, which is controlled by the infinite randomness fixed point. So, uh, so the property of this fixed point is uh, 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 R, uh, it has a very slow uh, dynamics. So uh, dynamic exponent Z uh, uh, tends to infinite. That uh, the mean spin correlation uh, decay, uh, decays uh, according to 1 over R square, uh, dominated by a rare long valence bond, for example, like here. Uh, but typical correlation uh, uh, decays exponentially. So uh, these this, uh, random singlet states are well known, uh, is well known. But uh, now uh, in this work, we use this word random singlet uh, in the sense that uh, it is a state, uh, there's no uh, any long range order. And uh, correlations decay algebraically. Uh, it is a spin liquid like state. As mentioned uh, uh, by the speakers this morning, yeah, uh, in this sense. So uh, now the question is, uh, uh, does, uh, does it exist or stable in uh, 2D unfrustrated uh, systems? 
the answer is uh, uh, controversial. So uh, there was a recent uh, PRX paper by Kimichi, uh, Nehum, and uh, Sinto that uh, they uh, claimed that uh, weak antiphragmatic order will uh, uh, show uh, in the end. In the end, but our work uh, claims that uh, random singlet state appears to be stable. This is uh, one thing. Now uh, let's uh, look at uh, a simple system, uh, which is a site uh, diluted Heisenberg uh, dimer system. It's here, uh, red, a thick bond uh, J2, a thin black bond J1. It is a J1, J2 model. When uh, J1 over J2 larger than 1.91, the face is uh, a dimerized face and uh, gapped. Uh, so, uh, If uh, we uh, dilute the system, uh, so like here, the blue circles uh, indicate randomly uh, removed uh, sites, randomly removed sites. Um, so uh, uh, unpaired dangling spin moments uh, form uh, in the gapped host system. Those Dangling uh, uh, spins uh, has, uh, have uh, effective bipartite interactions. So moments in the end form weak antiphragmatic uh, order. Uh, now uh, we take uh, uh, T equals zero project quantum Monte Carlo uh, study of uh, to this model, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. So that's why uh, the they can uh, form uh, antiphragmatic order. So we, we take this uh, project quantum color study. We uh, uh, measure this uh, binder cumulant of uh, magnetization, sublattice magnetization, M, M square. So here is binder ratio as function of J2 over J1. J1 is constant one. Here's the M square. Uh, for system as function of system size uh, at a different uh, J2, 0 0.5, 1.8 to uh, 5.0. So uh, we can, uh, for here, different lines are different system sizes from 8 to 40. And uh, we look at J2 equals uh, 3. It is this line and this line. This is for the uh, clean system. This is for the diluted system. So we can see uh, when the system size is larger enough, this spindle ratio uh, goes up for the diluted system, which means the system is actually in an uh, antiphragmatic order. But if you look at this uh, M square uh, for uh, like this uh, J2 uh, equals 3.0 for this uh, diluted system, the M square is very small. It's hard to, to extrapolate. The answer is not, is inconclusive. So, uh, so, J, uh, so UM is much better 
uh, in decide in the determine determining the system if it's uh, ordered or not ordered. So here you can also look at uh, uh, J two equals five. So this is clean system. It goes to zero means system is uh, a gapped disordered. For this upper line, the diluted system finally uh, goes out, so it's ordered. So this uh, support the known result. This is the simpler model. So now, uh, uh, now the question is: Is this the faith of the spinons uh, in the Square lattice disordered uh, valence bond solid. Is this the faith? Uh, Kim Chia, Nehum, and the Sintos work, uh, they, they say most likely uh, it is. Uh, frustrated interactions required to uh, induce a random singlet state. But one, one day, uh, so, a few months ago, I talked with uh, Kim Chi, but he said his frustrated interaction is in the sense of, like you mentioned, it's in the experimental, uh, this parameter, uh, what is it? Yeah, theta, yeah, yeah. So maybe <laughs> in, this, in that sense, maybe it's not uh, controversial. But anyway, uh, he said uh, frustrated interactions are required to induce random singlet states. But our conclusion is uh, we find this uh, antiferromagnetic to random singlet transition in uh, 2D random JQ model, uh, which doesn't have any frustration. So what is uh, a JQ model? Uh, it is a Heisenberg model with uh, additional multi-spin uh, interactions. Um, so here's uh, a J, a CIJ is the singlet projector. Its first term is simply a Heisenberg model. Then the Q term, uh, you have uh, like QX or QY. It's uh, products of three uh, projectors. Uh, so this is the uh, so-called JQ model introduced by uh, Anders in 2007. For large Q, this model, uh, uh, this model has a, a valence bond solid phase. For small Q, it is in a near state and in between uh, the confined quantum criticality is uh, realized. So this model uh, has no sign problem. It's ideal for quantum Monte Carlo simulation, but uh, however, it suffers from uh, a scaling, so-called scaling violation. But uh, recently, uh, we uh, resolve it. Uh, by uh, introducing a two-length scale uh, finite size scaling scenario, a theory. So, so now uh, uh, our uh, models. So we introduce randomness to uh, to the two D uh, JQ model uh, in uh, several ways. One way is uh, diluting. Uh, the size with uh, a certain uh, probability p. Another way is to random couplings. You can do it uh, random q or random j, or you can use uh, bimodal distrib randomness or uniform uh, randomness. There are several ways you can do it. Uh, and we have uh, two uh, schematic phase diagrams. Here, uh, lambda is disorder strength. Uh, uh, horizontal axis is Q over J. So for clean system, lambda zero, here's the deconfined critical point. 
for this for side dilution, we find the phase diagram like this. It is uh, there's a uh, antiferromagnetic uh, phase and uh, cross over to a weak uh, antiferromagnetic uh, valence bond glass phase. So here's no phase transition, no uh, random uh, singlet state uh, phase, like uh, what I just showed the, 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 the J1, J2 uh, dilute, diluted model. Uh, but if we, uh, run, we use random couplings, uh, uh, it is different. We find the phase transition from uh, antiferromagnetic phase to random singlet. Uh, phase. Uh, so uh, here uh, it is uh, uh, a Monte Carlo simulation uh, showing a random model with a large, a random Q model with large Q over J. Uh, so uh, you see uh, many small uh, bars. Uh, we draw a bond uh, only if this bond is the strongest bond uh, of two uh, neighboring sites. So there are actually uh, seven bonds. But uh, uh, if this bond, it is the uh, strongest bond between uh, both spins I and J, we draw it. So this is uh, according to this rule. And the, the bond thickness indicates the magnitude of this uh, uh, correlation. So uh, you can see uh, some uh, spin lines, uh, green, uh, yellow, blue, uh, red. These four domains meet, there's a spin line. And there are several others and they appears, appear in pairs, in pairs, not random uh, distribution. That's, this is uh, important. And domain walls uh, mediate those uh, spin on here. Here, for example, there are uh, several uh, domain walls, connect them and uh, mediate these uh, interactions. Sorry? Yeah. What I defined? Oh, this one? Spin on? Oh, uh, I. You, uh, this is just a, a uh, cartoon or something like that. I don't need it. Yeah. Sorry? Right. Uh, Projector Monte Carlo, I, I guess uh, Professor uh, Cadell is the expert <laughs> of the project on Monte Carlo. It's just uh, those, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then uh, in the, this, we, we are working in S equals to zero subspace. There's no, uh, no real spinners yet. So, uh, so here it is the uh, uh, local susceptibility, which uh, this is the definition. It's actually a, a imaginary time correlation of uh, spin at size site R. So uh, this, uh, if if uh, chi local is large, that means uh, here is brighter, right? That means uh, spin uh, uh has more freedom, right? Freedom. So uh, a match with the meeting point of four domain walls where uh, spin lengths are localized. For example, here, here's the, I show uh, there's a spin -on. Here you see a very bright uh, chi local. So they are match each other. Here, if you have a sharp eyes, you can see some uh, lines, uh, which is, we draw it by hand uh, to, to, to show there's a domain wall. Okay, so here's the uh, general picture. 
uh, actually uh, we realize this uh, cartoon here. So, so spinners uh, appear or quadruple. Anyway, they, they appear uh, in pairs. Yeah. This is a cartoon. This, this is a real uh, project uh, Monte Carlo simulation. Yes. Oh, uh, which is a pair? Which two spinners are pair? Yeah, actually, yeah. You just follow the follow this domain wall. You can see uh, here they are in pair. You follow the domain wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pattern of this uh, aunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's uh, not exactly, but. Uh, Oh, yeah, it is uh, for for large Q case. It is a random singlet. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh this is the uh, I show the this uh, bond to show the domains. Yeah. Oh, that, that's, we, we, I, I, I didn't do that. Yeah. That's, I think you, you can only do it in a SDRG way. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. OK, this is the, OK. Now, uh, uh, the question is, uh, is this uh, anti-pharmatic order? Uh, it, uh, is there anti-pharmatic order in in the disordered valence bond solid state. So uh, we compare binder ratio UM behaviors in random Q model uh, and diluted J1, J2 model. So you, you can see here, random Q model, those binder ratios uh, develop uh, uh, crossings. Crossings. Here, no crossings. If you see uh, Q over J plus Q at uh, 2 over 3, 4 over 5, and 1, it's these three lines. As system size goes uh, larger, the UM goes to zero. But here, for large J2, it's turned up finally. Here it's also turned up, which which means uh, AFM ordered. Here, no order. So it's very sensitive indicator. So uh, uh, our conclusion is that uh, so uh, no anti order in the random Q model for large Q. So uh, we have another uh, way to uh, to prove this. We calculate the spin on uh, strength in the uh, valence bond uh, basis. Uh, this is working uh, in the S equals one subspace. So we we still use project quantum Monte Carlo, uh, but uh, the uh, uh, we work in the S equals one extended valence bound basis. We put in two unpaired uh, up spins, uh, like here. You see one up spin here. Between them, there is a strain. Here, another up spin. Uh, those two, these sp two spins are actually two spin-ons. Uh, or I should say, uh, Two spinons are two strings in the background of uh, valence bond loops in the uh, valence bond uh, transition graph. This is actually uh, we project from a, a left size, right size, and the, there in the middle we form a transition graph. Here's the transition graph, and uh, this is uh, in. Uh, uh, 
ordered state, this is, uh, this, this is in the uh, uh, near state. So a uh, spinner uh, string fraction, we define this uh, lambda, which is the uh, average fraction of sites visited uh, by the string, by the string. So uh, it is a constant in the antibiomatic uh, state, and uh, it proportional to one over L square in clean uh, Williams bound state because those uh, spin lengths uh, are bound uh, together and uh, localized. And uh, the, in the disordered VBS, random Q or random J model, we find that lambda uh, proportional to one over L. Uh, this is the empirical property of this uh, RS state. So, Let's see uh, these two uh, plots. This is L lambda. This is the, uh, in the uh, near state. This is in the uh, random singlet state. Here you see the detail that uh, L times lambda converge to a finite value when system size goes to infinite. So. This is the uh, empirical uh, property. But uh, if we draw a lambda over 1 over L, we see in the near state, lambda uh, is constant. So, uh, and then uh, we can uh, find the crossing point, well-defined uh, crossing points between uh, different system size. The, 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 uh, L lambda was a Q over J plus Q line. For, these are for different system size. They have crossings, and those crossings uh, converge to a transition point, which is the same if we uh, calculate the crossing point of the binder ratio. Uh, here's the binder ratio. Uh, like here, those uh, binder ratio for dif different system size crossing each other, and if we uh, calculate uh, crossing of them, and they converge to the same uh, point, which is the transition point. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so uh, if we uh, study the bi model, random J model, ra bi model random J, we also look at this UD, which is the uh, binder ratio of dimer order parameter. We, we also see some uh, crossings, but, but those crossings uh, diverge when system size uh, goes to uh, infinite. That means there's no uh, phase transition to the uh, dimerized uh, valence bond solid, or there's no valence bond solid phase. So, so this uh, proves that uh, our RS state have no uh, has no AFM, has no uh, valence bond solid order. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if we look at the spin on uh, behavior, uh, the crossing of uh, spin lengths also goes to the same value. But here it's 0.6, something like that. Okay, uh, if we uh, started the side diluted JQ3 model, then uh, we see a similar behavior like J1, J2 model. Finally, the weak anti order appears. So uh, we, can al uh, we, al we have also started the uh, correlations. Here, CS is the spin-spin correlation we find a very good uh, 
algebraic decay, and the power is two. Here it is the dimer dimer correlation. The data is uh, less good, but uh, suggests suggesting a power uh, four. And uh, this uh, uh, power law uh, ruled out the uh, possibility that uh, this state is a uh, Griffiths phase. It... Okay, we I think I uh, skip this. Now uh, we uh, move to the property of the uh, random singlet uh, phase. We, we started a dynamic exponent. We simulate the finite temperature behavior of the uniform susceptibility. And it should behave uh, like this, proportional to t to the power d over z minus 1. So, uh, we calculate random Q model at transition and deep uh, RS state. Here's the transition point. Q over J is 1.2. Here's deep uh, phase. Uh, we are uh, RS phase. We can see that uh, Z equals to equals to uh, at the transition at the boundary, AFM RS boundary, uh, where Z equal to two gives a, a horizontal line. But here, Z is larger than two, but finite. It is different from the 1D case, which is uh, infinite. So here is the random J model uh, close to the critical point, you, you also see uh, z equals 2. Okay, uh, we can also calculate the local susceptibility, uh, which has a slightly different uh, scaling behavior. At crit critical point, it diverges in a logarithmic way. And uh, it has the same as, uh, power law uh, for, uh, for the RS state. So here is the, uh, we simulate it's the critical point. This is the logarithm make. Here's also, this is for random J, this is for random Q. I guess this local uh, susceptibility is also accessible in, in experiments. Okay, now I move to the uh, experiments. So, so we think some disordered spin liquids found recently may actually be random singlet states. Uh, there are recent uh, experiments. This is a strong, strong term, uh, Cooper, Tinner, room, tungsten, oxygen, <laughs> difficult for me to read this compound. But they, they have uh, uh, X here, right? You can replace this tellurium uh, with uh, tungsten, which uh, introduce a, uh, here's diff, uh, J1, here's a J2 interaction. So in this model, uh, re, re, the what Watanabe, uh, etc. Et they have this paper, uh, maybe already published. But uh, they measure, measure this uh, uh, uniform susceptibility uh, for uh, different uh, x, different uh, uh, disorder strength. And uh, the uh, here's the uh, experiment data. Uh, this is temperature. This is uh, U, uh, chi U, and uh, we fit experiments uh, data with this formula here, minus A. Uh, the right line, fit line, is we, we use data uh, in the temperature region uh, smaller than 4K. Blue line, I don't know if it is clear, a blue line we use a temperature smaller than uh, 3K. And uh, 
we have this uh, exponent smaller than one, deviate for the, from the uh, Curie law. Oh, you mean two laboring? Uh, different what? Different? No, no, no. It's randomly. It's just a constant uh, x and one over uh, minus x. It doesn't have to neighbor to each other. They can, they can, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. If they are connect to each other. Then it is uh, J1, right? This, this is, you have this J1. But here you have the J2. Yeah, I think so, but <laughs> maybe. Uh, so I'm, time is up, so, sorry. Oh, it is, uh, we, we just use that, uh, uh, no any order. And the correlation are uh, algebraic. Yeah, yeah, that's the definition of our random singlet state. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the uh, power law correlation. And uh, okay, uh, maybe I just mention a little bit. So uh, we also studied the distribution of correlations. Actually, there are two possibilities. One, this, uh, those data not conclusive, but uh, one possibility is uh, we, we can use a scaling variable like the here. So, and the data collapse, uh, data collapsing those data. And, uh, but we have for a difficult to recover the uh, minus two power of the average, uh, the mean uh, correlation. But here you have a power law decay uh, and, uh, and uh, exponential decay, but it has a nice aspect that these correlations like 1D, uh, like in the 2D uh, transverse icing model, random transverse icing model, which also realizes uh, infinite randomness fixed point. They have this uh, different behavior of mean and uh, typ typical. Here, same we can also, we, we have a similar behavior, but uh, Maybe our data is not good enough. So, so we, we use, use this power, but the, our power is 11, but should be five. Then I can recover the mean. But okay, you can also use a simple, a trivial skinny variable, which uh, uh, gives the uh, desired uh, one uh, minus two power, but uh, then you lose the difference of mean and the typical value. But we don't have to, to require this, right? Because our fixed point is not, uh, in a way, it's not uh, uh, infinite uh, uh, randomness uh, fixed point. Okay, I, I think I need to conclude. My conclusion that we find random singlet phase in an uh, unfrustrated 2D system, but not uh, infinite randomness a fixed point. Our Z is finite. We cannot, of course, we cannot rigorously uh, exclude a weak antipharmactic order, um, but uh, it's unlikely in light of uh, we have 
So uh, while this characterized the uh, critical point between uh, AFM and uh, RS phase. And uh, we find the spinal size diverges uh, at the critical point. And uh, the random singular phase may be uh, universal. The properties can be uh, investigated in great detail with quantum Monte Carlo. And the comparison with experiments, experiments are possible. And uh, uh, we, do, uh, we can uh, explain recent experiments. Thank you for your attention. Uh, first related uh, to the lattices, including uh, triangular Kagome and J1, J2 square, J1, J2 honeycomb, etc. And we call uh, this uh, apparently randomness induced quantum spin liquid like state also the random singlet state, just as you, as you call, right? So, as my basic question is that you, uh, you mentioned that it's unfrustrated systems, right? Uh, in your model. Right. So, as a basic question is, is there any uh, real essential difference uh, between in the apparently quantum spin liquid like state in frustrated and unfrustrated to the lattices and that's a big question so uh, i have two comments and one is that you uh, referred uh, as a possible experimental realization of your model as this uh, uh, square lattice random system and actually see uh, this uh, telluride uh, compound one end member is uh, j1 dominated and the other tungsten dominated, the other end member is the uh, J2 dominated, and both are antiferromagnetic. So J1 antiferromagnetic, J2 antiferromagnetic, actually they're competing with each other. So in the random case, uh, actually J1, J2 highly competing, frustrated. Yeah. So it's basically, at least in the random situation, this system is frustrated system. And we, uh, very recent in FIDRA B, uh, we published one theoretical simulation paper just uh, discussing uh, exactly the same problem. And we found numerically as uh, some sort of random singlet-like state. And uh, so uh, that's comment. And the question is that, uh, I don't know, it's we uh, quite often uh, in our frustrated models, uh, quite often observe uh, almost uh, Curie-like, but not, may not be exactly, it's not, it's not, not so easy to really pin down the exponent uh, from numerics. Yeah. But also, as, as, as well as, uh, you know, as for the uh, specific heat, it's strikingly T-linear. So my question is that, uh, did you calculate uh, the low temperature specific heat for your unfrustrated model, and how does it behave? Yeah, yeah. let me first answer your last question. <laughs> because uh, for, for uh, SSE-like uh, simulation, it's uh, difficult more difficult to calculate specific heat uh, uh, to, to reach a high uh, accuracy. So we are doing that now, but not yet. OK, Any thank you. So the more fundamental uh, question is that is there a yeah. difference between uh, the apparently, I mean, the terminology is a bit complicated, but uh, the states, uh, quantum spin liquid like states into the frustrated systems, which uh, our group has studied. We, we and also it is the same, uh, controlled by the same uh, fixed point. Okay. Yeah, so it's no why, essential uh, difference. That's uh, why uh, I, I try to uh, explain this uh, frustrated uh -huh. system with our unfrustrated result. Okay. Yeah. So we have, we have done actually a lot, so uh, maybe it's uh, maybe interesting it is, to, uh, yeah. to make comparison between... Like, uh, like uh, to the uh, JQ model, it is uh, unfrustrated, mm -hmm. but uh, it's realized the deconfined quanti quant quantum critical point, right? Like people expect that in J1, J2 model, mm -hmm. frustrated. So they can be the same uh, fixed point. So I'm very much interested in you, uh, whether you really end up with a t apparently T-linear specific heat or not. And T-linear specific heat is, in our case, frustrated case, quite robustly observed, at least numerically. Yeah, so, so I think because they are controlled by the same fixed point. So you should observe a T-linear yeah. behavior, even for unfrustrated even case. for uh, frustrated. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, have you also thought in terms of a direct strong disorder RG attack in the problem where there's a large Q term? Does that work? Does that look different from how the strong disorder RG looks for small small Q? Oh, you mean RG? Yeah. Numerically implementing the original oh, Motley. Uh, we tried, but too difficult. Difficult. Yeah. So the Q term does not lead to better behavior in the RG? Mm, the RG because uh, it generates more terms, I heard that it's done yes. by uh, Yu Lin, but <laughs> I'm not expert. Okay, thank you. Thank the speaker.